This is a exterior walk around on our 2021 Grand Design Momentum 320G fifth wheel toy hauler. We took delivery on it January of 2021 and have since uh, bought a Class A motorhome. So we now have this one for sale. Uh, just some stats on it. Uh, total length is 36 feet 3 inches. Uh, gross vehicle weight rating is a little over 16,000 pounds. Uh, it has an 11 foot garage. Uh, it's large enough that we put our uh, four seater easy go golf cart in the back which has a roof on it. Uh, so it's pretty good sized. It's a bath and a half model with an RV King mattress in the front master bedroom and two queen happy jack drop down bunks in the back of which the bottom one in the back garage uh, the bottom happy jack turns into two sofas uh, we'll just do a quick walk around you can hear the generator running it's got an onan 5500 gas generator which is fed off a 30 gallon fuel cell i'll go to the back to show you where the fuel cell fill is Sorry about the generator noise. Here's the flip out ladder to the roof access. Here's the fuel cell back here, which you can fill, fill golf carts if you've got a gas golf cart or motorcycles or, S or uh, UTVs, side by sides. And this is the control for the pump. And this is where you fill the fuel, 30 gallon fuel cell. The generator also runs off of that. Since it is a bath and a half, you have uh, two black tank drains. This is the rear one, which I've added Belterra valves to on both of them. So you don't get any of the stuff that's left in the pipe coming out on your hands when you take the caps off. Here's the rear tank flush. That's for the half bath. Got the mud dauber screens on the furnace. It's a 50 amp. And here's where the hookup is. The cord is in the uh, garage area. Here's the Nautilus system with the main drains. And you've got the black and gray tank flushes right down here. And here's the main drains. Here's your water intake, your black tank flush. And this does have six point auto leveling, and there's the control for it the liquid uh, six way or six point control. All you do is press a button, and it'll set itself to level. Here's your uh, propane tanks. You got one on each side. Obviously, the generator is in the front on these. It's inside there, the 5500 on it. Did upgrade to a Reese goose box setup uh, just for a smoother ride. Uh, utilizing a puck system in my truck, which uh, going with the uh, sale is the uh, turnover balls. I've got two of them. I got a BMW turnover ball uh, with the uh, safety chain hooks for the puck system and a shorter Kurt uh, ball turnover ball. This is a 20k second generation Reese uh, goose box. Also included in the sale will be the original factory uh, delivered. Uh, Lippert fifth wheel goose box or fifth wheel pin if you want to go with a standard fifth wheel setup. I also added the uh, trickle charger, magnet mount trickle charger on top to keep, help keep the battery maintained. Here's the other propane and your storage right here. There's also the matter, master battery disconnect. It does have lighting in there too. I just don't have it on. 
got a sprayer port right over here and connection for an outside TV. We're gonna hook one up and power outlet. Also, we upgraded to a uh, solid step. I do have the original flip down steps, which are like those over there. Those come with it, but it does have the solid step. Much nicer to get in and out of. Also underneath, behind the solid step, that space left there when we took the uh, original steps off, I've got an added more right storage box. It does have the upgraded Cooper 17 and a half H rated tires. And there you can see the second door. It does have three slide outs. The front slide out is the master bedroom wardrobe slide out. And I'll show in the second video some of the other features for the slide outs. And it does have the weatherproof LCI door. Because there were some problems with the doors. Now this turns into either a deck or it's the ramp door. It does have the full fence all the way around it with the porch stairs that go on it. I don't have them in the trailer at the moment, but it will be in the trailer. And it does have an awning over the top with an LED light. You have LED lights underneath the trailer. And there's an LED light in the big uh, main uh, 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 cover right there. And we do have slide toppers in all three slides. So those were added as well. So don't have to worry about water getting in on the top or leaves sticks on top when you close them cause them damage. There's a full LED strip light in the top of that awning that comes out.